In this episode, we're talking about weird guest experiences. Weird. So stay tuned. Vacation Rental Machine helps hosts just like you learn how to start, grow, and scale your short-term rental business. This show is all about creating systems that help you automate your business, giving you more time and money freedom. If you're ready to start living the vacation rental life, then subscribe to this podcast today. Come and join us on our Facebook group, The Host Nation, where we'll be talking about starting, automating, and scaling a short-term rental business. Now, on to the show. What's going on, Host Nation? I'm here with Julian Sage, and today we're going to have a little fun with this episode. We're going to talk about our weird guest experiences, and I got a few of them. I know Julian has some good ones as well. And I know all of you guys that are actively hosting have your own. We definitely want to hear some of those. Of course, don't expose the guest name or anything like that, but you can definitely tell what they did that you thought was weird because our people do weird things behind these closed doors. Julian, what do you got to contribute to this episode? Jeff, I I don't know if it's it's, it's kind of bad because... um... I, I share a home. Uh, so my basement unit, we renovated it. We turned it into an Airbnb and it's been able to cover our mortgage. So, you know, the beauty is being able to live for free. Uh, but with that, having, you know, being able to live for free, you're also going to get some pretty weird situations. So um, I, one of the guests that I remember, um, we woke up one night, my wife and I, and we heard uh, some noises coming downstairs. It was around 2, two two thirty in the morning. And um, we were just like, what, what, what was that? And, um, it was it was it was a person that checked in by themselves, um, but it sounded like there was two pe- two people down there. Uh, so I, I look at the security cameras and I'm like, you know, what what's going on down there? But you know, it, it only sh- showed one person. Uh, well, come come to find out, the 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 moaning that was coming from downstairs, it, it was coming from one person. Um, so it was we had a noisy um, noisy masturbator in our basement. Yeah. Um. That, did they set off your noise aware? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't have uh, noise aware because I did not have it at that time. Well, I don't have that experience, so uh, that is very unique. So, John, that one's a pretty hard one to beat. Uh, but what, what's the weirdest? <laughs> <laughs> no, no pun intended. But what, what's been your weirdest guest experience? All right, I was hosting an international guest. And this person was very scared about the area that they were going to stay in. Granted, this is probably one of the nicest areas that there is. Uh, This is Old Town, Alexandria. It's not bad. It's not rough. I mean, I barely see any homeless people ever. But I was talking to this lady. She called. I really don't know how she got my number before she booked, but she called me maybe seven times. Everything about the place was just unsafe. She said, oh, I'm a single female and I need to make sure that I'm safe. Nobody else could have access to the door. You got smart locks. I'm going to have to remove the batteries so nobody else can get into it but me. Do they have cameras? Can I get the person that controls the cameras? Because I'm a single lady and somebody could come and take advantage of me. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness, like lady. Like, it's not that bad. But am I telling you that you're not going to see anything that might be bad? She's like, oh, this place is across the street from a gas station. That's where people go and rob and they could just be running across the street. And I'm like, my goodness, it's a city. It's a city. There's there's things everywhere. There's a tight lot right behind the building. But what do you want to say? The kids are just going to be making too much noise. Whatever. Anyways, she came and stayed. I told her, just book two days. If you're not comfortable, you can go on. She was very comfortable. She stayed, I believe, about 30 days or so. When she checked out, everything in the entire apartment had been moved around. We're talking pots and pans in the upper cabinets, glassware and all kinds of other stuff on a center island underneath It was like I almost had to just like pay somebody to go and reorganize the entire place because she moved everything, everything. Needless to say, she booked another 30 day stay recently. So she's back at my place. I just know what to expect this time. So there you have it. That's one. I got another one. This one encompasses everything that you need to have inside of your units and why it's so important. 
I had a unit in a transitioning area, not the greatest area. This one, I admit, it's not the greatest area. I had a one day reservation come in in a gap. We allow one day reservations in a gap period of three or less. This person booked the basement apartment, which at the time was about $120 inside of this townhome. This person booked. I messaged them. We talked. I let them know that, hey, these are the rules. And I just, I, I had an eerie feeling. Sometimes we get those eerie feelings. This was one of those reservations that gave me that feeling. So I just monitored. I'm looking on the camera. These people don't check in until about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, one person checks in. That's fine. Okay, great. Maybe I'm tripping. Don't worry about it. 11 o'clock, I'm getting notifications. Movement, 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 movement. I'm like, what in the world? I look at the camera. It looks like ants are just running towards a piece of watermelon, which happens to be my basement apartment where there's like 40 people coming into the apartment. Oh my God. Now it's like 1 a.m. What do I do? Message the guest, call Airbnb, call the police, head to the unit. All of that is happening pretty much as I'm just throwing what I need to put on just to go out there and handle this situation. So the police get there. I get there. I talk to the police. I let them know what's going on. I tell them how to approach the whole place. I say, definitely, there's only one entry into the basement. It's through the back. So if you have somebody go through the back, we can go down to the front of the home and go down the steps. That's exactly what happens. One police officer blocks off the back. We go down the steps. We see literally about 20 people in this maybe 500 square foot basement apartment. And it smells like weed. Oh, my God. They're smoking all over the place. Weed is legal in the state that they're in. So I'm looking at the cops like, this got to be illegal. 100% illegal. There's too much. There's a lot of it. Well, they pull up the guy that made the reservation. I talked to him one-on-one. -on -one. I'm bringing up, hey, didn't you see that there's external cameras, there's noise monitors, there's no smoking? What made you book this place? Did you think I was lying? He said, well, I didn't see it. Then he goes to tell me that, but what I did see was that you said that this was an entire place. And I'm like, yeah, you got the entire basement apartment, all 14 photos that you've seen, you have access to that. But no, you listed it as the entire place. Okay, I'm not going to debate with you about what you booked, whatever. But the audacity, right? So I said, why did you bring all these people? He says, well, we were going to record a video, what kind of video, a rap video. Really? It also says in the rules, no videography, no loud music. You were going to get put out <laughs> within the first 30 minutes of you getting there. We actually put them out within about 45 minutes. They lingered around the place for probably a little longer than that, trying to record their little video outside of the property which the police had to go circle back around to then further kick them out. Very, very funny. I felt like this guy was just testing me by saying, hey, it's an entire place. One side note about this whole thing, uh, in most places, the police are not going to negotiate your independent contract. So they're really not going to be forceful in this scenario. They're really just there for safety. So because there was a large number of people uh, against a smaller number of people, they're there just to ensure their safety. So they're not going to be the muscle and just throwing people out of the house. Don't think that. But that's my two funny scenarios. Two, uh, one, definitely my worst guest. The other one is definitely just a very unique uh, guest that, hey, they, they book long stays. What can I say?
Yeah, John, that's a pretty crazy uh, situation. And I, I want to highlight this. I think that this is uh, such a unique episode because this really does show the the difference of this business. This is not your typical real estate business. Yeah, you know, when you're dealing with long-term renters, you might get someone that, you know, messes up the inside of the house or, you know, maybe they they don't they don't want to stay and you have to evict them. But with this business, you're going to get some weird stuff. And I'm sure that you've got plenty more stories, John. We'll 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 probably have to make another episode in the future. Um, you know, because when you have when you have 30 plus properties, you know, 35 plus properties, you're going to get a bad egg every once in a while. So it's, it's just part of the business. Uh, but like, like you said, um, we don't, we don't say these things and we don't call out guests because we want to complain about them. That's not what we like to do, uh, in our community and the host nation family. Uh, we're all about learning how we can better, uh, enhance ourselves as hosts, protect ourselves, how we can prevent these types of situations from happening. You know, how do you, how do you stop uh, a person that's in your basement, uh, making loud noises? How do you stop a person that, uh, is, you know, very emotional and they are, you know, maybe a little bit having some some issues emotionally. And how do you handle that that type of guest? How do you handle a, a, a situation where someone's throwing a rat party in your house? Uh, you, you have to be prepared for all these different types of situations. And there's tools and there's methods that you can use to be able to handle these types of things. Like John was saying, I could have had my noise monitoring device. Uh, luckily, it was just in my basement and I heard it from upstairs and I could just be like, hey, can you quiet down? But if it was a situation where, you know, maybe uh, there's it's a shared space, maybe it's a shared room and I'm not in the house. Maybe I have multiple units that I'm renting out. If I have those noise monitoring devices, then I could say, hey, you know, I hear a lot of noise in this area. Can you please be mindful of the other guests? There are some people that use the hostel model, which is where you're renting out multiple units in the same building. Uh, you do have to be mindful because you can get a bad review based off of your other guests in that same place. So having those devices, having noise monitoring, having security, those are things that can help you to uh, prevent yourself from having bad reviews. So question of the day, this is going to be a really good one, but what are some of your most interesting or worst guest experiences? Leave them in the comments section down below. And again, if you have any questions for us, use hashtag AskVRM. Let us know what your questions are. Leave it in the Host Nation Facebook group, on Instagram, wherever it is, and your questions can end up on the show. So until next time, Host Nation, keep on hosting. In this episode, we're going to be talking about what to do when a guest checks into your Airbnb unit and what to do when they want to shorten their In this episode, we're going to be talking about what to do when a guest checks into your Airbnb unit but wants to er wants to shorten the reservation. Do one of the weird weird guest experiences. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hope you host found value in this episode. If you did, please go on over to iTunes and leave us a review as that would greatly support the show. If you'd like to connect with John, the community, and I, then go on over to our Facebook group, The Host Nation. Talk to you hosts in the next episode. Keep on hosting. <laughs>